Hello, hello everyone. Okay, haven't had pizza for a while. Got a pizza, it was just delivered. Um, this is just my favorite little mom and pop pizza place um, right near my house. My, it, it's just a medium with um, mushrooms and pepperoni. And my, and, that, and my total was $29.43 and that was including the tip. So let's show you what it looks like and then we'll get it onto my plate and we'll eat because I'm hungry. I'm feeling beachy today. I got my sun, salt, and sand shirt and we got the beach in the background. All right, let's give you a picture. Delicious. That looks delicious. Okay. So I'm going to get a couple pieces onto my plate and then I'm just going to put this into the oven so it stays warm. The cheese is going to go everywhere. Look at this cheese. That looks good. Watch out pups. You can't have any of this. Oh, that's going to be so messy. My mouth is watering. Oh, no. All right, it's not going to look pretty. But that's, that's okay. All right, let's eat. It's a little messy, but that's okay. I think it's gonna be hot. See, that is okay. <laughs> it's just because it's so thin and it's so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hang on. Hold on a second, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Delicious. So how are you guys today? I hope you're doing well. Love. I love their sauce. And their mushrooms because they're like a tad bit pickled. Not super strong, but you can tell it's a tad bit pickled and it's with the pepperoni, with the pepperoni and the sauce is sweet and it has spices and you can taste it and it tingles your tongue just a little bit on the tip of my tongue. Mm -mm -mm. The mozzarella cheese, their crust is amazing. Their crust is like soft, but a crunch on the outside. And then when you're chewing it, it's like airy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love pizza. This kind of pizza I love. I love it. So the pups are still here. 
We had our long walk this morning. I take them for like a 30 minute walk. In the morning and then we go again. In the evening. Now when I work, I take them for another walk before I start work. But today is Thursday so I'm off. But I probably, if I'm walking them both at the same time, I'm gonna walk them before it gets dark. Because I have to scope out. My eyes are like a radar when I'm watching when I'm walking them to make sure there's no other people, no other dogs. They go crazy. Like they try lunging. They get up on their hind legs and <laughs> they're so strong. Sorry, this one's a messy one, you guys. <laughs> this one's a folder. This pizza you gotta fold. Probably gonna need more napkins. I really wish they would put them in training. Like, I get scared, like, I mean, in my neighborhood, all dogs are supposed to be on leashes, but I do get scared. Like, what if one of these times I'm walking them and a dog gets out from their house and just comes running up to us? That it's not going to be good. At all. So I try to take them on a walk when, you know, a lot of people are at work for the day. I know when sometimes when people walk their dogs. So before I take them out, I still look at my ring camera that shows up front or out front. And then I look at my side windows to make sure there's no other dogs. Yesterday there was. I, I put their harnesses on. Put my coat on, put my sneakers on. Looked out the side, looked at, in front of my ring. It was fine looked out the side windows there was like three guys um each of them had their own dogs they were standing down down at the corner like conversing so i was like this is not going to work but yeah what i do if I'm out on the walk with them and I see either people or another person with a dog, turn around and we go the opposite way. Even if they're far away, and I turn around, these two will just keep turning around. <laughs> What, like pulling towards that way? I'm like, nope. Like it just scares me. Even their parent, their owners are, they're older. And I get a little worried for them. I know that they, when they got, um, both of them, they got a, a fenced yard 
I've been watching for this family for years. They had a previous dog that I watched for a couple years who was older and ended up passing away. So then they got her, had her for maybe mm, six months to a year. And then they got him. Oh, you can't see him. <laughs> and they had to get a fenced yard. So they don't walk them. And they, they just put them in their yard. But I'm like, some, I'm scared for them because what if one of them got out from their yard and took off? Like, I'm worried that they, they're going to have a hard time, you know, trying to get them. So tr I think training would do them very well. Love it. This is my pizza for the week. Please give me a second. I'm gonna go put two more. I'm gonna go put two more pieces on my plate. Okay. Two more slices. And let's eat them. Alright, alright, alright. Got homework to do today. After I'm done eating, I'm going to take these guys back out, unless looks like a, it's a rainy day here today. Rainy day, we're still recording. So these two go home Wednesday, next Wednesday, late, like after I'm done work. so funny. They don't get people food either. To hear airplane. <laughs> For those of you that have dogs, do they do this when you're eating? I know when I had my chocolate lab, she did. So yeah, they go home late Wednesday night when I'm done work. And then next Friday, I start my volunteer work for my one college class. So I'm doing four hours to try to get caught back up because I was, I did email quite a few facilities, but I was really trying to get into this one. <laughs> so took a while, but I'm, I'm finally in. So 
now I just gotta get caught back up a little bit so I'm, I'm gonna be doing four hours um, I'm gonna try to do the whole month of March four hours a week four hours once a week Our professor did want us to do two hours a week, but other people have been asking if we can do more, and she said, yeah, as long as we have our 20 hours for the semester, we're good. Yeah, I just want to get it done. I have to talk to the one hr woman today there's no way i'm going to be able to move by the end of march no way i'm supposed to be officially hired on with them next week so I don't know if they're if they're gonna give me until like preferably I would like to wait until I'm done until I graduate college because then I'd have to come the whole way back for graduation. So it's either gonna be yes or no. I just don't know if I would still be hired on next week or if they would have to extend my contract if they're going to give me more time. I hope they give me more time. I do love my job. And even though what I'm going to school for is different from my job I have now, I really enjoy working from home and my major, I'm soaking up the grease, soaking up the grease on the crust um, with my major more than likely I would have to actually go in <laughs> to work. I've been working from home for so many years, I prefer working from home. I could find a work from home job in my major, but I would have to more than likely get a bachelor's. And I don't have plans for that right now. <laughs> All right. So yeah, after four pieces of pizza, I'm good. I will be good to go. That's because most of this is cheese right here. I can't fold it. All right. Can't fold it, you guys. It's gonna all come off. Here, we'll just do this. Mm. Oh my goodness. Does anyone else like mushroom and pepperoni? On your pizza? I used to always just get plain cheese. There for a while, I was not a big fan of pepperoni, but now I love pepperoni and mushroom. I think I used to get a lot of uh, mushroom and black olive, I think. I can't even pick it up. It's so thin. <laughs> I 
messy but good. <laughs> Messy but good. He loves sitting at the at that door. Samara has tried to come up. If we're upstairs, I have a camera back there on top of the TV. Y'all might have seen it on some other videos. Um, so if we're upstairs, Samara comes up from the basement and she hangs out here, but I, I have a, a gate, a baby gate at my, um, my bedroom door. Cause my bedroom's pretty big. So I moved my desk and stuff into my bedroom. I just like it better that way and it's more room and especially when I have two dogs. My office, there is like no room to put and their beds are huge. So I'm like, I'm just putting everything, my desk in my bedroom. I have it down on one side and then I can fit both of their big beds in there. And then I do have a baby gate. Um, he keeps passing gas. <laughs> if you hear that, that is him. He's been doing it all morning and he did go number two on our walk. They both did. But yeah, I have a big baby gate, one of the extra tall ones, and then it has a little cat door. So I have that one of those up at my bedroom so that they can't get out and go into the, the second bed bathroom at the cat litter. And then I have the same kind of baby gate at the basement um, door. I just leave the basement door open. And then that way the cats, Samara and Sebastian, can come in and out. Um, but yeah, they when we're up there, if I turn... Like the camera will go off for motion and I look and it's Samara. She tried to come out. She has tried to come out a few times. But they just, those, these two just like stand there staring at her and I don't want them to hurt her. So they're okay with Sebastian, but I would still never leave them alone with Sebastian. Um, Samara, they like to chase because she runs. Same with Stormy. Stormy last night came downstairs and I was down here and they scared Stormy underneath the couch. So then they're just going crazy, like going back and forth. My daughter said, you need to help get Stormy. I think it's a helicopter. Woo! Delicious. Delicious, but I'm getting full. I have the new cat tower up, up here instead of basement. I think I'm going to move it over. I think we're going to leave it up here. And I took one of the, the extra little things that they lay in. I put that one downstairs as well. And then I have a big fluffy blanket inside the one bigger one for Samara. But I think when I move this over against the wall over here, that way they can sit on it and look out the window and stuff. But with Sebastian, I might have to, it has a little like hanging tag thing in the back. And they did include a screw that, that expands when you put it into the wall. I might have to do that because Sebastian, he's like, how much does he weigh? I think 15, almost 16 pounds. So I get, I don't want it to fall 
and when he he lays in that right here this one there's another one over here but i'm worried that it's gonna fall so with sebastian and samar on it i might have to find a stud in the wall and put it in there just to make sure it doesn't fall Mm. I think I mentioned this in my haul video, but I made a mistake on my one video where I mentioned that I bought uh, lamb livers and Samar didn't like them. I was wrong. They were duck livers. But the um, lamb hearts came and Samar loves them. So does Sebastian. Woo! You know what else I like? I'm not sure if you can see it, but the grease from the pepperoni soaks into the crust. And it's so good. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm full, you guys. Might need a nap. I only got like six hours of sleep. I made the mistake of. Because Sebastian has hyperthyroid, now it is being controlled, but we did lower it a little bit. But he's always been this way. After about six hours, rare occasion seven hours, he starts to want, like from the time we go to bed, right? And I feed them right before bed. So typically I'll feed them like between 1 a.m. and 1.30 a.m. for the last time and uh then we go up to bed six usually six hours sometimes he'll let me go to seven sebastian is trying to wake me up because he wants to eat and that's why i started buying treats again because i'm like i can just give him a couple to hold him off hold him off for like another hour or two to give me an, an hour or two more sleep um, but now I probably shouldn't have done that because now it's worse now it's like literally every single morning because now he knows he's going to get some treats is that him? let me see if he's at the gate unless that was you was that you farting again? Oh, that's not good. So yeah, now, now it's definitely an every morning thing because he wants treats. But oh well, it was my doing. Hope it's still recording. Yes. Woo! I'm stuffed. I was almost gonna do a seafood boil again. It's actually still in my <laughs> in my DoorDash. I didn't empty my cart. I was like, I'm in a mood for a seafood boil. But then it would have been like ten dollars more than what this was. So I was like, well, you know what? I can eat pizza too because it's been a while since I've had one. I did a stromboli last week from the same restaurant. I made it into a little short. I didn't post it yet. I'll probably post this video tomorrow, which is Friday. Oh, and then I did a little short of, I had McDonald's yesterday before work. No, yesterday I ordered out a lot this week because I didn't, I ended up not cooking my spaghetti. I'm actually gonna get my meat either later today. I'm gonna do an Instacart order um, either today or tomorrow. I'll show y'all how I make my spaghetti, but I put it in the crock pot overnight, so I'm going to have to just show you how I do my meat and my sauce. Put it into the crock pot. The next day, I'll just cook my noodles. They only, I, I buy the thin spaghetti, so I think they cook like six, seven, or eight minutes until they're al dente. So then, what day is that? Saturday. It'll be ready Saturday, so I'll eat it before I start work Saturday. And that, that is him farting. <laughs> 
you're farting. <laughs> she just smelled it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so then I'll just, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> he did poop right before, or on our walk today. I usually poop twice a day, morning and night. Um, yeah. So what I can do is just record the video of how I do my meats and the sauce, put it in the crock pot Saturday before I start work. It'll be done. I'll cook the noodles Saturday and then I'll record another short clip of what it looks like when it's done. So that are, those are my plans, but yeah, I am going to go. I'm going to wash my hands, clean this up, save the video, take these guys out if it's not raining. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your week and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone.